Cooking has been one of the favorite pastimes of Choctaws, whether it's making hominy, banaha, or good old fashioned chicken soup. Cooking outside over an open fire gives the food a unique taste that many people love. The people cooking must know how to manage the flames in the coals to ensure that the food is not under or overcooked. The skills needed in cooking outside is especially evident when baking foods such as biscuits and cornbread. Though cooking over the fire has remained constant, the methods have adjusted over time with advancements, such as gaining the knowledge to use and make pottery during the woodland period. Today, iron skillets and pans are almost exclusively used when cooking outside. This type of cooking is done usually for social gatherings. The cooking in this video was done for an event held by the Cultural Affairs Program and features traditional Choctaw cooking by Nancy Vaughn, Donna Williams, Cezanne Williams, Garrison Joe, and Carol Jim. First the fire is made, and from the fire, coal begins to accumulate. After enough coal is collected, it is then spread over the ground, where it will serve as a heat source when baking. Immediately following the spreading of the coal on the ground, the iron chef starts prepping food to be cooked and begin heating the iron pots and their tops. While the pots are slightly heated, cooking oil is coated on the inside to help prevent the food from sticking. After food is added, the pots are placed on top of the coal. With the top on it, cooking, but you have to watch it too. The cooks make their adjustments, such as dispersing the coal evenly and only heating either the top or the bottom when needed. Well, right now on that one, the bottom is brown, mm -hmm. so we're cooking the top right now. That's why we took it out of the burner, uh, ashes. So when it's it real brown, that's when we know it's done. Cooking remains a big part of Choctaw culture. Cooking processes, food preparation techniques, and recipes continue to be handed down from one generation to the next. The best way to learn is to do it.